Hi guys, 13LOL what here for another Minecraft tutorial video. This is a tutorial on how to install Minecraft mods with Forge Mod Loader. I did a previous video on how to install Minecraft mods with Risigami's Mod Loader, but now I, because there are two ways to install Minecraft mods manually, Minecraft <coughs> Forge or Ristigami's mod loader. I am now doing the tutorial on how to install Minecraft mods with Forge mod loader. So, the steps for this is quite very alike with Ristigami's mod loader, except there are a few differences. Now, I have to note that if you installed mod loader and you find a mod that requires Minecraft Forge, you can install Minecraft Forge and mod loader at the same time but make sure to install mod loader first if you do to plan on doing that but you really only need forge mod loader so anyways i'm going to start off with going to where you need to go as said before you need the 7-zip uh, program file archiver i explained this in the last video i think you should watch the last video because i'm just going to go right through this so then you have to download Minecraft Forge for the latest version of Minecraft. The latest version of Minecraft is 1.5.1, but since 1.5.1 only came out about yesterday, they haven't released a version for 1.5.1 yet. As said before in the last video, all installation processes are pretty much the same, so I'm going to so you have to download that, download by AdFly or Direct, depending on which do you want to support the mod makers of AdFly or do you just want to download it directly. So there are, there's the Universal, the Source, and the Java Doc. Download the Universal, add fly or direct. The Source is the source code, and the Java Doc is the documentation with, with Java, which is what is used to run Minecraft. So, after you've downloaded <coughs> Forge Mod Loader, or Forge, or Minecraft Forge, whatever you want to call it, find a, find a mod that will support Forge Mod Loader. Well, in this one, I have the More Crates mod. This mod, I uh, just check it out for yourself. I'll put a I'll put a link in the description. And the way to find out how to install mods that require Forge, if you need to find out if it requires Forge, is if it says something like "Download the latest recommended Forge build for MC." So that's how you would know if it requires Forge. So after you do, if you download stuff like that, install 7-zip if you haven't already. Just minimize and open the two 7-zip file tabs. So here is my dot .minecraft. It's a clean 1.5. You open up the dot .minecraft. By the way, I didn't mention this in the last video, but this is reached by typing your drive, which would be minus C, and then... Uh, colon slash users slash your username slash app data slash roaming and then you will get this screen that I have right here and then another slash obviously just cop just like or you can just go to here and type percent app data percent to reach that to reach your roaming file which is pretty much the same thing just copy that so that's how you can do that as well so click on your dot minecraft file click in your bin file as you can see no mod folder here go to the minecraft.jar again it requires deleting the meta inf file otherwise you'll get a black screen delete now go to your minecraft forge file wherever it's located and you do see a meta inf file in here but that meta inf file is needed so do not delete the one that comes in the forge mod loader pack so copy every single one of these files there's a lot of files so you need to make sure you co copy every single one and then drag them into your minecraft.jar say yes now now that that's installed you can see probably a lot of stuff popped up here a lot of stuff was modified because forge mod loader requires a lot more stuff than risugami's mod loader so log into your Minecraft. It'll just be setting up here. That's something that Rusugami's mod loader does not do. So it's gonna take like about less than a minute usually. So it'll just do that same setup. Only it takes a shorter time than all the other times after the first time. So 
it, Minecraft is loading, it takes a bit longer. Now you can see here that you have your Minecraft version, MCP, which is MC Patcher for texture packs, FML, uh, you d it's not F my life, that's what it would mean if you look at that usually, but this stands for Forge Mod Loader, it's version, Minecraft Forge, it's version, then it says you have three mods installed, which would be these mods up here, and then three mods are activated. So let's go to our single player world, again I created another thing called test, just so I could demonstrate what you have to do here. Again, it's the same thing for last time, all you gotta do is interact somehow with the blocks, or something like that. This one I didn't create in a flatlands, just because I didn't feel like it. Break a block, place a block, sorry for the loud audio on the game, I should turn that down, but... You can exit out of that. Now, quit the game. So, now to install the mod. So, this particular mod, if we go back on where we got the mod from, it says, if you remember, I said in the last video that some of them require you to put the mod in the mods folder, some require to put in the dot jar. So, let's see how you have to put it in. So, put the forge file in the minecraft.jar, that's installing forge. Put the mod, keep it zipped, yes, you have to keep the zip file, in the mods folder, located in the dot minecraft file. So, this, so basically, oops. Oh, whatever. Okay, so basically what it's saying is this one requires you not to put stuff in the minecraft.jar as it is right here, like we usually do, but to put it in the mods folder right here, locate mods, and you have to drag the whole zip file, don't open anything or modify. There you go, the mod is successfully in installed, at least I think so, but just to make sure, let's open up minecraft, log in. Okay, as you can see, the setup isn't didn't take as long as the first one, so Minecraft is loading, and before we had three mods installed, if, see, we have four mods installed now. Let's take a look at our mods. The Crates mod. See, that's the mod we installed, and that's the Crates mod. So, just to make sure it really works, we can just go into our Minecraft and just... Yeah, well we know it works, so we don't really need to do anything. Ah, lag. Sorry about my game, my computer is not the best for handling Minecraft stuff, so I might as well just end the video right here. Thank you <coughs> for watching the video, hopefully this helped you if you wanted to install mods with Forge Mod Loader. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe if this really helped you a lot. I will be posting lots more of Minecraft videos, not just tutorials, I will post Let's Plays and Multiplayer Plays, maybe even a server review every now and then. So thank you for your time, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, have a nice day.